There was a young fellow from where his viewing consistently bare. But then what he found was today's around the ground he subscribed and decided to share. Good afternoon everyone. It looks such a lovely day, doesn't it? Um, when you see these pictures, as I start my walk around Ware Football Club. But for the third time this season, there's been no trains up and down my line. A um, little bit of terracing behind me near goal here, as you can see, just the three steps. Um, we've had rain all week. We had snow on Thursday. It was torrential all day yesterday. We've had a storm overnight um, for the fourth Saturday in a row. And... The football programme has once again been decimated. Fortunately for me, um, I was coming here anyway because I didn't have any trains. I didn't, um, my lovely wife is in London with our daughter today. But, um, I looked to see where I could get to and thought where I can get there on the bus. I haven't been here since it turned 3G and I'm very happy to be here as well. It looks great. Um, hasn't changed a lot since I was last year. I can't remember when it was, probably 10 years ago. Um, so there's a covered area on this far stand here. Um, I've just got here, there's been two kids matches going on. I've kind of watched the last 15, 20 minutes, which have they've been great. And, you know, why would you not have 3G? Um, you know, just an hour before the kickoff of our game, that's looking back, that's too bright. Um, just an hour before the kickoff of our game, and there's been two kids matches on here, and it's not gonna spoil the pitch at all. It's a money spinner. Um, with weather like this, why wouldn't you do it if you're able? I know planning permission can be an issue. So there's a covered area here. I would love to stand here today, but I think it's just going to be too bright with the old current bun in the eyes. But one, two, three, four, five, seven steps to tell us. Apologies for the wind, which is what I seem to say every week. Um, quite looking forward to this one, actually. We're at top of the league and only by two points. Um, from the team in second place, uh, I think it's Hanwell, who have a game in hand as well. So this is a must win for where they're at home to Marlow today. Love Marlow. It's one of the first places I ever ground top to, actually. With a lovely old stand, lovely town as well. Do visit Marlow if you get a chance. Um, let's spin back and that's where we've just been. Um, subscribers have been dripping in all week. Three new named ones to tell you about. There's Eagle Vision. Ah, I've landed the eagle. Stephen Franklin and Franklin, my dear, I do give a damn. And Dale Skitt, well, I'm feeling a bit skittish today with all the weather we've had. Um, I think Gale would be more appropriate rather than Dale. But welcome to you all and enjoy the channel. So sort of wooden fencing around the outside, um, the pitch, um, it's flat as a pancake. Looks new, to be honest with you. It looks great. Um, this is a far end. Apologise for the sun, it's dazzling actually. That's looking back at where we've just been, it's quite a nice shot of it there. That's up the pitch, tree lines up the far end. To get here by public transport, um, I mean, I got the bus and got off about a minute's walk from Ware railway station, which I think you get to from Liverpool Street if you come from London. And then it's about a 20 minute walk, I guess. I took it very easy, I was early. Um, up quite a steep hill, but the good news is it's downhill going back. Loads of places to eat, pubs, um, cafes, what have you, in the town that you walk through. So don't be put off coming here. It's a nice little town. That's looking at the stand, quite a big stand. And again, apologies, it's not going to be the greatest view today because of the sun. It's bloody typical, isn't it? It belts down, doesn't stop all week. And then you can't film because it's dazzling sun and I'm, but having said that I'm not complaining this is looking back um, at that covered area over there looks great doesn't it um, and the 3G pitch so um, slightly better view of the stand hopefully once I get in the shade you'll get a better look of it um, when I used to do 
local radio I used to do like the Jeff Stelling Soccer Saturday um, on local radio station called Heartbeat and the program sports program was called Matchbeat and I used to do um, live reporting um, on matches they used to come to me and I came to wear a couple of times um, to cover them and actually interviewed the manager in one of the changing rooms here so that's my little story um, a long time ago this is for dugouts um, standard things with just a bench inside and the other ones quite a way quite a distance between the two which I always like here's the gold graveyard that you always get at these 3G surfaces and as we walk in here there you go there's the stand um, so a reasonable size and we'll have the sun behind me so I might go up the top there to film we shall see and when I say film, do stay tuned for clips of today's match and some stills at the end. That's just looking up at the seated areas there. As I say, that really hasn't seemed to have changed much at all. Um, some of the um, changing rooms, and not the changing rooms, a bar is in there, big, big bar area. Um, have a TV on covering Brighton Crystal Palace, which was the Prem match, lunchtime match today. And there's the tea bar there. And the turnstiles where you come in are just to my left past this bench. And we are just about back where I started. But don't take my word for it. Why don't you come to Wear Football Club yourself? I'm sure you would have a nice, warm welcome. And if you do come here, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Um, and if you've enjoyed this video, click on like. If you've hated every minute of it, click on dislike. And then why not subscribe? So all future videos that I do will go automatically to your YouTube feed. And once you've clicked on subscribe, click on the little bell. And if you click on the little bell, you'll wake up in the morning and you won't have grass in your garden anymore. You'll have a bright, shiny 3G pitch. Anyway, thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. This is Wear Football Club.
full time and I'm outside the malt maker statue. Um, final score was where nil Marlow. Nil, my second nil nil in a row. Um, first half was okay, Marlow were a better team, the stronger team they out battled where. Second half was awful. Um, Marlow got what they wanted, a point, um, but that was one of the strangest performances by a team at the top of the league I think I've ever seen. Um, there was no urgency, there was no sustained period of pressure by where at all. Um, apparently they were missing the midfield playmaker and it showed. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, speak to you soon and this was Where Football Club.